Well, I, I think that's probably got to go to Southwest. I mean, they lost 15 in a row. So, you know, and uh, I don't know how they did it, but they got a college guy who's still playing basketball. I brought him out as an import. To, and another guy, two imports, haven't paid him a cent. Uh, you know, that's taking the pressure off uh, Vines, who, who's stepping up because he's got some targets inside. So I think they're definitely the most surprising team to me. You know, and maybe maybe Maruchador. You know, they didn't really surprise me. They went within a whisker of beating Cairns. Very unlucky. So uh, they're probably surprising on the positive side. The rest of the teams, you know, about where I thought they would be. Oh, well, uh, Gold Coast, you know, this is just horrible. I mean, Toowoomba should hang their head that they lost to them because that team is nowhere, you know. I mean, it just shows what politics and uh, happens. You know, Mick Conlon runs a great program. Uh, making the playoffs consistently in the top four now, they're just woeful. You know, back three times, 50-point losses. So definitely, you know, they are the most underachieving team, probably followed by Northside. What are they, one and three, one and four? They've lost to Bundaberg and, and an improved Southwest. But, you know, um, yeah, they've been disappointing. They have they have missed a player in Gleason, but, you know, they, they, they're they disappointing to me. You know, um, some of so I guess those two I would probably put as the most disappointing. Uh, oh, it certainly dented it. There's no doubt they really can't lose another game, and they're in that tough pool, you know. They, they, but um, having said that, you know, that, that, what that loss to Brisbane does just puts Brisbane on the, you know, Brisbane control their own destiny now. You know, and it would be nice to see the South host a playoff game, host the grand final for once. And you know, Rockhampton realized that, you know, that, that, that final game in Rocky, if Rocky win the semi, that, that's making them fifty to to $100,000 when they host that. They realize that, and they count on that. You know, that, that's the reason they're able to put bring in the good uh, players that they do. So, yeah, they're on a nice edge. If they drop another one, it's going to be really tough for them. And having said that, Brisbane are controlling their own destiny, and, you know, they still have to go to Cairns and Townsville, and they, they have some tough games ahead of them as well. But, um, yeah, I, I think, you know, Rocky, surely if they win out, they'll have a great chance of doing it. But Brisbane's got to lose an extra game now because they've got the head-to-head against them. So, you know, Brisbane have to lose twice more, two more times to lose that best record. So, it was a big, a big, big result, and I don't know too many times Rocky have lost two in a row lately. No, I don't. I think it's, I think it's uh, Rocky, Mackay, Cairns, the normal in the north, and Brisbane in the south flying the banner. And I think there's a fair distance between anyone else. You know, to, to be honest with you, um, you know, if Gleason comes and McCarran comes and they can get their stuff together, Northside. But you know, I don't even know if Northside will make the playoffs. You know, but um, no, I, I. You know, I don't. I don't think so. I think the Cans, when everybody's there, Rocky, Mackay, Brisbane are your four top teams. There's no doubt. Mackay for mine. You know, they did. They did well. They had their two restricted players were gone, um, and they still picked up two wins. Admittedly, against Gladstone and Bundaberg, but two road victories is big for them. So you know, they're they're right there in a the chance. We'll, we'll see how they go. I don't think they have a point guard, but you know, they certainly have some talent around the park, and it's great they've got all Aussies. So. You know, hats off to them. Uh, I don't know about surprise, but the best player I've seen this year and last year is the kid Tapa Scott from well, whatever is now you ever pronounce his name from Rocky. That kid is a beast, man. I'm telling you. I saw the game on Saturday night, and he is right there. He, he would not be as uh, out of place playing in the NBL. You know, um, happy to see Mick, Mitch Young play great. Uh, you know, when he first came back, he'd been on holidays for, hadn't played for a month and his first couple of games. Now you're starting to see the real Mitch Young. Mitch Young, you know, I always knew was going to dominate this league and, uh, he's starting to do that. And I think, you know, the, you had the kid Bruce with those two. That's a pretty tough combo, a point guard and a really tough hard nose four. That's why I think cans will go close. Um, so, but they've been good. Um, you know, I thought, think um, the import for the Capitals, I, I think he's going to get better. I think he, he's good. And I like Drew Isinger, but I think this guy's a much better fit for Brisbane. And, um, you know, so I, I think those guys have not surprised me, but they've pleasantly uh, played very well, you know. So that's a tough one, you know. So, like I said, I think the North is. Cairns, Rocky, Mackay. You know, now if they win the top spot, they'll be three teams. In the South, you know, um, the 
South Pool, well, you know, Ipswich has spent all the money, and they've been one of the disappointing teams too. That they should probably be in that one and four. They have had you know tough games, but they've been blown out by people. You know, they were blown out by Rocky. You know, down by thirty at half, and got blown out by Brisbane. So they've been disappointing. You know, they scraped against an average Townsville team. They they got a win, but now their schedule will be easy. They'll make, they'll make a playoff spot, and I guess you'd have to say Southwest. You know, in, in that pool, and it's you know um, maybe Toowoomba will trouble them. Toowoomba probably have had the victory of the round of the season so far, beating Brisbane. You know that that was. I'm sure Brisbane would be happy being four and one, but I'm sure the one loss wasn't. They didn't wouldn't, have, wouldn't have thought it would have been against uh, Toowoomba. In the other pool, I think Brisbane are clearly going to win that, and I, I honestly think uh, Maruchador will will take the second pool. I think I think Warwick uh, Mayo is the best coach in this competition. You know, and doesn't get any respect. He consistently does it with a not a whole lot. You know, so uh, I would expect them to snavel that last one. And if, if Brisbane win the pool, then you'd have to say Maruchador because Bundaberg, or, you know, they won that first game and now they're back to being Bundy. You know, horrible. So that's kind of how I see the playoffs. But it's early days.